So what are those elliptic curves? Well, in order to answer that, we first have to look at the elliptic curve equation. So, for now, we describe elliptic curves as a plane algebraic curve. What that means, you'll find out later. And an elliptic curve is a set of points. A set of points with an x value and a y value that follow the Weierstrass equation. So every elliptic curve can be expressed in this so-called short Weierstrass equation. There are other, also other equivalent uh, equations, but you can all express them like this. So we have these parameters here of the curves, curve A and B, and we have the additional constraint that this here is not zero, which avoids the curve to be singular. What that means we'll see a bit later. So elliptic curve is a set of points x, y and a mysterious point called the point at infinity. So if we plot those curves, here for example we have a parameter a of minus 1 and b of 0. It looks like that. This is the x-axis, this is the y-axis. Or here's another curve. So if we plot them over the real numbers, they look somewhat like this. Um, yeah. As I said, this additional criteria for a and b make sure that the curve isn't singular or doesn't have singularities. Later, we'll talk about broader notions of ecliptic curves and more specific notions, and then you'll also see where this weird point at infinity comes from. But that's something we'll leave for a later lecture.